Hi guys, Samantha here. Welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. We are on episode two and part three of said episode. And on last part, we pretty much got in trouble with David and our mom. And then we went to a junkyard and fixed up a truck, which looks oddly familiar. Of course, it's the same truck from the first episode of Life is Strange. And now we're just sitting here waiting on Rachel Amber to show up. Um, so let's get into it. I think she fell asleep and it's pretty much nighttime, which just sucks. <gasps> Whoa. Shit. I what is that in the background? Day. Why is it flying and eyes looking around? Okay, so if I didn't do the mystical what? thing, what would it have been? What the hell? It was just flying and flipping and flopping. Y'all saw that? <laughs> Not flipping and flopping. <gasps> oh. Oh, this must be a dream. This is a dream. Okay, so there's the crow. Oh, oh my goodness. Last episode, I was just talking about the spirit animal situation. Like, is her dad's spirit animal the crow? In Alaska, the crow is very historical. I don't remember all the stories behind it, but um, if you guys ever have a free time and you're interested, you should read about it. But the crow is like symbols. They, they mean stuff here. And um, it's kind of weird because like some, some of the native people, the people that were like, were born and raised here and have ancestries here, they really, I mean, they think very highly of the crow. Dad? Um, but I can't remember because when we went to Fairbanks uh, for spring break this past spring break, um, we this lady told us all about the crow and how interesting it is, like the whole crow situation. And crows are like big here. We see them all the time. And um, I don't know. It's just interesting because seeing it now, it just reminded me of that. But OK, so interesting. So dad's here. Um, he's got like a white orb around him. That's very interesting because normally when you click a person, it's not yeah everything is just like very orby right now um i guess let me look at him real quick and I see what i miss him oh so much dad what are we doing here yeah, he's not really speaking to us um but y'all, like real talk, I um I lost my dad a couple years ago. I guess we'll look at the marshmallows. Do I even like marshmallows? I guess we'll join him, but um. But yeah, this, this rings true to me because I lost my dad a couple years ago and I, I, I still have dreams with him in them. So like this is like really real. Like this is really true. I still have very realistic dreams with him and um, it always feels like he's trying to tell me something. So I don't know, whenever I see these parts like this in this game, it just reminds me of that. Um, it just, it makes you wonder if it's, if it's real, like if you can dream about deceased ones deceased loved ones and they come back to tell you something or i know it's, it's weird i know i know before y'all start going off on me in the comment box it's weird but i kid you not like it happens it, it happens quite often um that i'll have dreams about him and i'll feel like he's trying to tell me stuff um it'll be like super amazing real. isn't it i can't look away yeah i like the look of fire sure too. don't pretend you're not mesmerized too is it the forest fire or the fire in the trunk? It's like a little bit of both. Fire is very See? soothing to look at. You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Yeah, that's true. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. Wow. Well, that's interesting. But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. Oh, wow. That's pretty. I love the graphics on this game. Incredible. Oh, my goodness. I love the graphics. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Is he trying to tell her something? <gasps> no. Of getting burned. 
Oh no, why is the crow eating at his face? No, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I, oh no. Okay, so I've never had nightmares <laughs> with my dad in them, but definitely like regular dreams, but that's weird. But like I said, I really feel like, I know this is like all off topic, but I really do feel like that, um, that, yeah, that, 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 that could be possible that your loved ones could come to you in dreams. I mean, that's just my take on it. I know there's like a lot of controversy in it, but being that I've experienced it, you know, it just seems very real sometimes, but anyway, that, that was kind of weird though, but it makes me wonder the significance of seeing she fell asleep with a cigarette in her hand. That's not safe. But, um, there's Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? Exactly. You could start a fire. <laughs> exactly. Thankfully, it went out. Oh, no, not in the car, Chloe. So, are you going to invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, what does she have here? Oh, she has like a bag. Are we going somewhere? She's so awkward around her. Look at her. She's just like awkward. Where are we going though, Chloe? You're putting your bag in the back like we're going. I mean, not Chloe, Rachel. You're putting your bag in the back like we're going somewhere. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? I like it though. A cool blue light? Holy shit. The all seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. <laughs> like for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am, I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> That Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Okay, this is kind of cute. <laughs> well, Doc. Oh, they're gonna be each other's therapists. That's cute. Um, let's talk about David first. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks. <sighs> He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. 
The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Well, I know she knows she likes to call him Y option, so I'm just going to say Y option. He's a uh, step douche because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! Yeah, that's pretty and gross. Pretty I wouldn't soon, want to have that they'll be stepping mind. down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, Needed someone in her life to teach her. How to steal wine from yuppie picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That... makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Well, let me think. Uh, let's talk about... Let me ask her what she thinks about the fire since we just hey, ended the conversation about the fire. chances are pretty soon this entire town will be burnt to a smoldering pile of ashes. So, you know, things are really looking up for us. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just... You and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. 
I'm in. I guess that's why she had the bag with her. I didn't Wait, think about that. You forgot your bag. It's for you. Oh. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Okay. I wonder what it is. They totally are crushing on each other. I mean, look at that. <laughs> They're totally crushing on each other. Um, I thought it was her stuff for the um, for the um, the play. That's what I was thinking. About that as well. um, I wanted to ask her about the other stuff, but I guess I didn't get a chance to. But it's hello, cool. Junk Shack. She kind of brought it up anyway with the wells and everything. So I just still don't understand this whole concept of. Um, okay, well that's going to be their little fort. We know that already. Their little hideaway. All right, I want to see what's in the bag. Yeah, let's go. Cool. Huh. Time to check. I'm curious. It's like a present. It's like Merry Christmas. A bag full of clothes. A bag full of clothes. Okay. Yes, I need those. Okay, I'm confused. You just gave her a bag full of clothes? All right, let's try on some stuff then, I guess. Oh, we can be able to try <laughs> on clothes. Like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Okay, so we got raven hair. We got Rorsch, Rorsch, wait, hold on, Rorschach skull. I know what a Rorschach is because that's the thing where they, it's like an ink blot and they tell you based on what you see in it, it's like a window to your psych, you know, like your psycho somatic. I don't even know what word I'm trying to use right now. I went to school for psychology. Oh my gosh. But it's an ink blot and basically whatever you see in it, it kind of tells what your personality or what your, your innerness is like trying to say i guess you could say i don't know and we got a tarot tower um that's the only three options we have i kind of want to try on the this one since you know i kind of familiar with what it means we had to take one in school it was actually kind of interesting um especially because it's it's really it's really telling like <laughs> like of all that you know that that type of stuff like with your psyche is kind of like and everything but i like it on her um very very retro this is so funny, though, this whole thing, like, where you could try on clothes and everything. Uh, all right. We'll change into that. I mean, why not? Hopefully, it'll not give me the option to always oh, give me the option to change another shirt. Um, I guess let's try the raven hair since I'm back in here anyway. But I think I'm going to go with that shirt. But the raven hair, I like the color. So let's see real quick. <laughs> I know this has so much to do with the gameplay, right? Oh, with the hat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I like it. I like it. Turn this way, girly. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, let's do that one. Let's exit. Let's do that one. We'll do that one. Yep. You're good to go. Yeah. <laughs> That's the same face I was just making. Like, okay. <laughs> All right. So Frank is texting us. Let's see. Oh, I keep doing the wrong thing. Um, I'm at the junkyard now. Okay. All right. So let's go out and meet him. And it's so funny. We just we just had a chance to... Uh, oh, we could hang that up real quick. Uh, he's at the junk junkyard. But let me just see. Because we didn't get a chance to really look around and see what else we could do. I like that outfit on her, though. That's cute. Um, I wonder where Rachel got these clothes from because none of these look like her style though, you know, like the t-shirts, but the hat, maybe that's the hat she got from the, um, the glove box because she's kind of, uh, didn't she have, she had a hat on a lot in the other game play. Uh, we're not going to try on anything else. We had a sign here. Uh, we could prop it up. Let's just set everything up. Even though I know, I know Frank's here. We should be going, <laughs> we should be going to go check on him wrong way. Um, this would actually be cool though, y'all. I'm not gonna even lie. My dream when I was younger was to have like a little, a little, you know, hideaway type thing for me and my friends to kind of go hang out. Um, we'll just hang this tapestry. We're just gonna fix it up a little bit. Um, like I said, I don't know how you end up just taking over a whole junkyard, but. <laughs> and how long is it taking her to do all this when Frank is out there waiting for her? But that is actually a really nice tapestry. Ta is it tapestry or tapestry? Tapestry. Frank's outside. I should get going. If all I'm right, all right, it. all right, all right. I know. That's what I was just about to say. So press A to leave. We fixed up our little hideaway place. So let's go see what Frank is talking about. I see his little truck over there. Um, maybe he can get. Oh, look! I forgot we wrote on the side of it. <laughs> Definitely not a meth lab. Definitely. Oh, that's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Wait, what? Is that the woman? Weird. What does Frank know about her? Seriously? No, Frank. 
It's Chloe. What? Okay, the plot thickens? Like, a lot? I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Oh, wow. Christ, get your ass in here. What in the world is going on? Does he know? How does he know that girl? Oh, y'all, I'm so confused. I'm like, okay. Like, the world of Arcadia Bay is small. <laughs> I mean, it's like incy beatsy, like minuscule, like tiny, tiny. Like, hello. Anyway, all right. <coughs> Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Okay, really? Who is that? Well, ah! Ah! God. Why is he? Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. I'm so confused right now. Why is he driving off with me? All right. No, um... I'm fetching things for Frank. Dude, I heard you got expelled. Bad news. You mean good news. I'm stoked. <laughs> Word. <laughs> I'm home too. I finally got busted yesterday for smelling like weed. My mom's making me go to her, to her book group. Oh, man. <laughs> what a punishment. I would love to go to my mom's. My mama doesn't go to book group. But if she did, I would be like, when are we going? Like, what time? How um, low can I go? All right. So we got a book right here. Is that it? Fight the power seizure law oh okay just in case he gets stopped okay so we can look at that let's look at i'm just gonna look at all this stuff <sighs> sorry frank i didn't know it was your rv when i wrote that oh okay all righty uh we, but i i think we knew that though we got the betting slip a betting slip twelve hundred dollars way out of my league all right okay and we got a hat so Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Oh, wow. We, we, we kind of knew that oh, from no. the old one. Okay, so let's open that up. Ooh, a ton of Spam? Or a ton of pork and beans? Okay, just beans. All right, just beans. Can I close that, though? Because that seems like that'd be dangerous. Like, if we hit a curve or something, all those things are going to come. Bomb sauce. For the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. Oh, I can graffiti something. Might as well. Uh, work or home? Let's do home. Got it. It's technically his work, but it's technically his home. I mean, he has food in there. <laughs> he has coffee pot with coffee in it. I'm like, this is his home. Oh, wow. That's funny. All right. So we're getting a bunch out. Can I close this, though? Y'all, you know it's bothering me. And I can't close it. It's not giving me the option to close it. I guess Bomb let's... sauce. For okay, the man yeah, 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 who enjoys yeah. searing, that's an insane amount of beans. <laughs> we know he likes his pork and beans. <laughs> oh my gosh, my kids like pork and beans too, it's so funny. All right, let's open that up, I guess. It's the refrigerator, probably. Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. That's probably for his dog. It's probably for his dog, Chloe. I mean, come on. Grocery list, all right. Um, Oh, wait, I just realized what that said. That's a grocery list. So that was his things of what he needs to get. And I put a real house. <laughs> Oops, I should have put a job. <laughs> I just wait, realized that. Frank got a puppy. Oh, hi For there. My, three, my dog is three months old. and He's peeing everywhere. What do I do? Oh. What's your problem, lady? I had I had said I don't scold him. Ah, oh, man. Rachel, the therapist, would have a field day with this. So what age will a dog eat steak? Okay. Piss hit music. Property insurance fire illegal. Arcadia Bay Forest watch. Megan Fox single. <laughs> Megan Fox. Why won't puppy eat steak? Aw. <laughs> Dream about clouds meaning? Okay. Oh, shit. The mill burned down. Okay, yeah, we knew about the. Okay, we knew about that. Okay, you guys can read Jeez. that if you want to. Frank, you like a dog. That's an expensive dog. dog. A special man. Kali's buyer. Kali, Kali, buyer will make him so. Oh. Okay. All right. So we went through his email. Um. All right. So we could take that. What is it? Don't mind if I do. Oh no! Don't take it. What don't is it? Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. What was it? 
Okay, I, oh, it was pot. Okay, I should have looked and seen what it was. I thought that might have been the book. Okay, that's cereal. What do we need to look at cereal for? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so Frank, you told me to go get the book, but you're not really telling me where the book is at. So I'm just looking aimlessly forward, but maybe it's back here. If it's the same book that we know about, then it's in this little um, area. Oh gosh. Oh, there's the book. Okay, there's a book on the bed, so maybe that's it. Uh oh, the dog. Oh. Hey there. Is it a little puppy? Oh, hi. It's okay. Oh, guy. it's cute. It's a little puppy. Oh, shit. Pompadou, get up here. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, look at all the trash and stuff. Pompadou. You little killer. Oh, cute. Oh. That's so cute. I love it. All right, Elliot's texting us. Um, tip this okay. Uh, okay, he's doing oh goodness. Okay, let me just finish. Golly. I'm gonna let him finish texting. Hey, don't worry about being expelled, okay? Dude, I'm fine. <laughs> it's like I'm fine. Uh Tempest is gonna be awesome, awesomely bad. I mean, um get text fire about the phone. Okay, we got all that. Okay. Hey, you wanna hang out? Tempest is gonna be awesome, like awesomely bad. I mean, it's gonna be hilarious. Don't worry about getting expelled. Oh, dude, I'm fine. Okay. All right. It's like a waste for these tech. Ooh, it's a weird screensaver. Kind of creepy. All right, let's go in here. We got Pompadou out. Uh, Pompadou is just tearing up things. And the notebook is right there, so let's take that. All right. Is this what I think it is? Oh. Uh, shit. I'm in the red. You already knew that, though. We owe him money, so he's Time taking us find away. find out what Frank wants to discuss. He's taking us away because Frank of that. Frank and his okay. BFF. That's adorable. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. All right, let's go see what he wants. And I, it's funny, because why would you come pick me up and then drive off with me and then I see that I owe you $175? Um, all right, can we look? We already looked at that. Okay, so let me talk with him. Give him the notebook. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? But you named your dog a French name. Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Ooh, I don't know what to say. Should I demand an answer or let it go? Uh, is it really my place to ask? I mean, he asked me to come in his... Okay, I kind of want to get an answer from him because I want to know. So let's demand an answer. <laughs> Rachel would I want, want to know. know more. <laughs> I, bet I really want I can to know. convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Hey, so uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? See? We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You... You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago, causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? 
But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, Frank. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. The kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck yeah. fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I have to do it, so... I'll do it. Yeah, I'm about to say, if they give good me an option, I'm going to want to do it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause this episode because I just realized we're coming upon 30 minutes, if not right at 30 minutes or not before or after 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think down in the comment box down below. Of course, if you haven't already subscribed, I appreciate that if you do and thumbs up the video and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.